The Virginian, a popular TV series from the 1960s, brought the Western genre into many living rooms. It tells the story of a strong and just foreman at the Shiloh Ranch in Wyoming. Set in the late 1800s, the show is known for its engaging stories and memorable characters. Watching this series is like going on an adventure with each episode. It shows the challenges and life in the Old West with surprising, funny, and sometimes sad moments. The show has a special place in the hearts of many viewers. Maybe you have a favorite memory linked to it, or a scene that really stayed with you. We'd love to hear about your favorite moments or personal connections with the show. Sharing your stories adds a personal touch to the show's history. Please share your memories in the comments. Your experiences not only make the show more enjoyable for other fans, but also keep its spirit alive. The Virginian, with its mix of drama, action, and meaningful storytelling, continues to attract viewers, showing that good stories stand the test of time. Let's share our experiences with this great piece of TV history. The Virginian, a Western TV show, came to British TV after others like Cheyenne, Wagon Train, and Rawhide. It was different in a few ways. It started in black and white and then changed to color, which made some parts of the show, like painted backgrounds, more noticeable, especially on big, modern TVS. The show was 75 minutes long and had famous actors like Betty Davis and George C. Scott, giving it a touch of Hollywood glamour. But it took a while for people to really get into the characters from Shiloh Ranch. The show got more interesting in season three with a new character, Emmett Riker, played by Clue Gilliger. Riker had a troubled past and became a lawman, and this story was really appealing to viewers. People liked Riker a lot, not just because Gilliger was good-looking, but because he made the character really interesting. Riker had personal struggles, and it was exciting to see what he would do next. It was nice that his story didn't just focus on tragic love stories like other characters in the show. However, when Riker wasn't in the beginning of Season 5, some viewers lost interest. This pointed to a bigger problem with the show starting in Season 4. A lot of the regular actors left or were gone for a long time without explanation, which was frustrating for fans. Still, watching the show again shows how hard the actors and crew worked, especially with tight schedules. Season 3 is especially good. If you're new to the show, starting with Season 3 might be a good idea to see if you like it. In short, The Virginian is a special Western show. It changed from black and white to color, had famous actors, and introduced interesting characters like Emmett Riker. Even though it had some issues in the later seasons, it's still a great show for Western fans. Set in Medicine Bow, Wyoming, the series revolves around the Shiloh Ranch, a focal point for many of its stories. This setting provides a realistic backdrop for the Western-themed narratives, grounding the show in a specific and relatable place. The series also served as a platform for many actors who later achieved significant fame in Hollywood. Notably, Harrison Ford, before reaching the pinnacle of his career, appeared in two episodes. His involvement, though brief, is a testament to the show's role in nurturing budding talent. A unique aspect of the series was its approach to crediting actors. In the end credits, many actors were listed in a manner reminiscent of the show's title, with a pronounced use of the word for unnamed characters. This led to credits like The Man, The Wife, or The Lawyer, which was a distinctive feature of the show's presentation. This not only highlighted the anonymity of certain characters, but also maintained a consistent thematic element throughout the series. These details, from the location of the Shiloh Ranch in Medicine Bow, to the early appearance of Harrison Ford, and the distinct crediting style, contribute to the unique character and historical significance of the series. They exemplify the show's approach to storytelling and its influence on the genre and the industry. Adapting from the original novel, the television series presents notable changes and maintains certain elements. In the book, the ranch named Sunk Creek is situated a significant distance from Medicine Bow, highlighting the isolation and vastness of the western frontier. This aspect underscores the challenges and lifestyle in that era. The series captures this essence, albeit with alterations for television. A critical change in the adaptation is the relationship between the Virginian and Trampas. In the novel, they are not friends, and their dynamic culminates in Trampas's death at the hands of the Virginian. This conflict adds depth to the story, showcasing the harsh realities and moral complexities of life in the West. The television adaptation, however, takes a different path, altering their relationship and dynamics for narrative purposes. One of the most distinctive features of the series is its episode length. 
With most episodes lasting 90 minutes, it holds the record for the most extended episodes in a television series. This format allows Wood for more in-depth storytelling, character development, and exploration of themes. It is unlikely that any other show will match this unique aspect, making the series stand out in television history. Throughout the series, the main character's name remains a mystery. He is referred to as the Foreman, the Ramrod, or simply the Virginian. This anonymity adds to the character's allure and mystery, embodying the enigmatic and rugged nature of the Western hero archetype. It is a consistent element across the book, movies, and the television series, contributing to the character's iconic status. These details from the geographical setting and character relationships to the unique episode length and the anonymity of the protagonist play a vital role in shaping the series. They not only differentiate it from other westerns, but also contribute to its lasting appeal and significance in television history. The TV show set in Medicine Bow, Wyoming, really brings the old western feel to life. Medicine Bow in Carbon County was a small place with about 9,000 people in the late 1TDR 90s. This is important because it shows what life and people were like back then, making the show more realistic. The show is also known for having actors who became very famous in Hollywood later on. One of these actors who became a big star was in two episodes, which is pretty interesting. Seeing these actors before they were famous is a cool part of the show. Another special thing about this Western show is that it was the first to have episodes that were 90 minutes long. This was a big deal because it meant the stories and characters could be more detailed and interesting. This longer episode format made the show different from others at the time. So, the show's setting in Medicine Bow, its cast of future stars, and the longer episodes make it stand out. These aspects contribute to its lasting popularity and importance in TV history. The show underwent a significant transformation in its final season, adopting a new title, The Men from Shiloh. This change was accompanied by a shift in style, notably in the credit sequence, which echoed the Italian Western aesthetic. This new direction included a theme composed by Ennio Morricone, an Italian composer renowned for his work in the spaghetti Western genre. This change was a bold move, aiming to refresh the series and offer a new perspective to its audience. A lesser-known fact about the series involves the character Betsy, portrayed as the daughter of Judge Henry Garth. In a subtle plot detail revealed in the early episodes, it is disclosed that Betsy is actually adopted. This revelation, occurring in the second episode of the first season, adds depth to her character and her relationship with her father, enriching the narrative fabric of the series. Another interesting aspect of the show is the character Steve, played by Gary Clark. Throughout the series, he is consistently referred to as Steve Hill. This name differs from the adaptations in the 1946 film, where he is known as Steve Andrews, and in the original novel and earlier film versions, where his last name is not mentioned. This change highlights the series' approach to character development, distinguishing it from its predecessors and giving Steve a more defined identity in the television adaptation. These details, from the series' stylistic evolution and its final season to the nuanced aspects of its characters, underscore the show's adaptability and attention to detail. Such elements contribute to its distinct place in television history, illustrating how the series evolved and adapted over time to maintain its relevance and appeal to its audience.